Now we're going to look at the second uh, concept that comes out um, with this preaching. Paul in, in verse 46 and 47, Paul and Barnabas spoke the word of the Lord to them first. Okay, and so and Paul and Bar Barnabas spoke out boldly saying, it is necessary that the word of God be spoken first to you. Since you thrust it aside, judge for yourself unworthy of eternal life. Behold, we're turning to the Gentiles. So they went to the Jews first, the ones that should, because of their knowledge of the scriptures, respond to the fact that the Messiah had come. Uh, they had a wonderful zeal for the things of God. They wouldn't let this challenge go unanswered because they really believed the truth about Jesus. Uh, they rebuked those who rejected Jesus, letting the Jews know that it was a privilege that the message should come to them first, and this privilege they're now rejecting. Verse 47 is going to quote the Old Testament. It says, For so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. Paul refocuses back to the Old Testament, and he quotes Isaiah 49, 6, and the, the witness to the uttermost part of the earth, that, that uh, particular part of the commission, Acts 1, 8, is now starting. And here's a description of Jesus' mission uh, from that Old Testament passage. Again, they didn't have a New Testament because they were the New Testament. Okay, here we go. And now the Lord says, He who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, my God, has uh, become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and bring back the preserved of Israel. I will make you as a light to the nations, and my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. That's the ministry of Jesus. First, he said, let's go to the lost sheep of Israel, which is interesting. Religious people are lost, and now a light to the nations, light to the world. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, his Holy One, to the one deeply despised, abhorred by nations, the servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves, because the Lord, who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. So here is the ministry of Jesus told to us in the Old Testament that he eventually would take the mission to the Gentiles. We're going to look at a little bit more on this mission of the Gentiles as Jesus actually presented it in uh, the Gospel.